EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for February 26th, 2021. For your Friday, we're having another day where it's mostly sunny, very similar to what we had yesterday as far as temperatures and sky condition. We will have clouds that will start to increase in the evening, and that's going to be ahead of this next system that's coming in that we can uh, see here on the uh, European model uh, for Friday evening. It's off to our south. It's going to be moving toward the region, and there will be a wintry component to this, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because I'm said made it well known that I am done with this uh, wintry weather, but there will be some minor, very minor accumulations before that goes over to uh, some some rain either late overnight or early Saturday morning from south to north. And uh, this is looking at the, the European model here uh, for the evening. So we are mostly sunny today, and then uh, clouds are going to increase this evening, and this precipitation will move in kind of late evening from the far southern areas to just around or after midnight. Uh, farther to the north. If you look uh, just below my uh, the video here, which by the way is another spectacular Ray Leichner video that I'm using here, and uh, this one is a little bit different than yesterday. Still a fiery sunset, but we're taking off. Zzz, little drone takeoff here on this one. This is pretty neat. Uh, but this is the uh, forecast for today. We're still in the lower 40s, kind of generally like we were yesterday, low to mid 40s, and uh, mostly sunny skies. And I have the rain snow icon on here for Saturday. We don't get fooled by this because this is mainly just the overnight where you're going to have the uh, the snow part of it, and then it's going to change over to rain from south to north as this system moves through. And I move this forward here, and you can see that. You see have some snow initially in the overnight period coming in, uh, generally for most of us after midnight. And then as we move up to uh, the morning here, it uh, mixes with uh, rain and then changes over to rain everywhere before ending. I don't think this is going to be an all-day thing on Saturday either. So you can go to the NAM high res Future Simulator Radar. I'm going to start this off at 10 p.m., and you can see this is the snow, and farther southeast, it's it's going to be rain. So if I had to draw an area of where you're going to see snow, and I'm going to stop this, uh, the video is going to stop when I do this drawing here. But I'm going to draw an area here. This is your area that could see snow, and it's going to kind of go up here like this, okay? So anything north of there. So parts of southeast PA here are not going to get anything, uh, and except for rain or maybe a little mixing. In southeast PA, most of New Jersey is going to be out of this as well. Delaware is just going to be rain. Uh, but as I move this forward here in time, you can see that moving forward, uh, moving uh, northeastward. And you can see where the snow is, and it's basically where I drew that line. So anything uh, north and northwest of that line is going to be snow or a mix of rain and snow. And this is going to 3 o'clock in the morning. At this point, still snowing along I-78, but the further east you go across New Jersey, Delaware, places like that, uh, and further south, it's now changing over to rain as well. This is all rain here, okay? Uh, and then once we get into later in the overnight, you see this rain line move up to the north here. As this is 6 a.m., you still have some snow showers here going on uh, in the far northern areas of Pennsylvania at that point, but it's about to change over uh, here at 7 a.m., and you can see that here. So if you're one of those that are like uh, like my wife that likes to sleep in on a Saturday morning to 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock sometimes, uh, you're probably going to miss it. You, and you wouldn't even know what happened unless we told you. But uh, this is going to come in, you know, very late evening or around midnight, snow a little bit. Uh, you get a lot of coating to an inch stuff, maybe two in a few spots, especially higher elevations. But it's going to be a coating, a slushy coating or an inch on, on uh, non-paved surfaces. I don't want to say grassy surfaces because some of you are like, mm, what's grass? I haven't seen that in weeks. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, the, the non-paved surface is mainly here for this. And uh, generally a coating to inch for most areas. And, if again, if you wake up late in the morning on Saturday for a late riser and you like to sleep on the weekend, you might not even know if at that time it's going to be raining and you see maybe some slush laying around. But that's about it. Here's what the uh, European model and uh, actually most others suggest. The snow will be again coating to inch in all these gray areas. Some of these higher elevations, see where it has a light blue here. This is focusing on areas of elevation, so I can see somebody getting, you know, uh, one to two, maybe even slightly over two in a few of these highest elevations. But I think it's going to be generally a one to two up in those regions, in the high elevations, uh, probably above 1,200 feet. Uh, once you get below that, though, you're generally uh, coating to an inch, and of course, this is all going to change over to rain everywhere by the time we get to. Uh, Saturday morning, but this is not going to last all morning or all day. This is going to just last throughout the morning. And uh, here's 11 a.m. Here is noon, and here's 1 p.m. It's just about out of here. So through about noon or so, thereabout, you're going to have some showers to hang to contend with, and after that point, uh, this should move out and we will dry out. Now it's going to remain mostly cloudy on Saturday afternoon, uh, and ahead of our next system, which is going to come in on Sunday. 
This is another way moving off to our south, and it's going to be far enough north. We're going to get some showers moving in here, uh, probably like late morning or near noon or so, and then it just continues. There might even be some mixing in the far northern areas, elevation areas. We'll see. Uh, but it looks like a primarily rain event for just about everywhere other than the elevation areas. And uh, generally light rain, but it goes throughout the uh, the day and wraps up during the evening. And then uh, maybe a few a leftover shower overnight, but then Monday is clouds giving way to sun. And then we are mostly sunny on Tuesday. Now on uh, Wednesday, we have a couple different models uh, in disagreement with each other of how this is going to evolve. The European model is suggesting there's going to be another repeat of what we're having tonight with a wintry start going, you know, slice or slushy, excuse me, slushy coating to an inch or so going over to rain. Uh, the GFS, at least the regular GFS, not the parallel. Parallel agrees with the European model pretty much. Uh, but uh, the regular GFS that is still operational right now was suggesting that this is going to be a miss and there was nothing to see at all. So we're not really high confidence on Wednesday yet. We're going to kind of cross that bridge when we get there and see where this trends over the next couple of days. But it looks like another situation like we're dealing with now where you have a you know, a little bit of snow, you know, noose and stuff on the front end, and then it goes over to rain, and it's primarily a rain event for most of the area. And then Thursday, we have a trailing system moving in with a cold front that could give us a few showers as that moves through. So that's your week ahead. Again, I don't think we're going to have a map for this. There's really no sense in making a map for coding to win in stuff. Uh, we do. We are going to send out alerts to those subscribed to the My Pocket Meteorologist program. So you will receive text alerts for your area if it is an area that applies. And again, it's not going to be everywhere. So if you don't get a text, it's because you're not getting any snow or we're not expecting any snow. Uh, but areas that do get a, uh, that do, we do think it's going to be uh, at least some snow overnight uh, into very early Saturday morning. We'll get a text alert today. I don't think there's going to be a public map for this because, again, this, this will serve as your public map. Here you go. There's your map. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much, everything's pretty much in agreement with this. It's a coating to an inch in these areas right here, exactly where I drew, uh, northwest of the line, rain southeast of there, just generally light rain, and some of the higher elevations could squeak out an inch or two. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's the nutshell. Uh, but we will uh, stay on top of this and uh, everything in the week ahead uh, with new guidance as it comes in. And I'll let you know of any changes for the weekend forecast video, especially with that system coming in in the middle of next week. I'm EPA to view a meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for February 26, 2021. Have a great Friday.